What's up, my successful people? We back today. We're gonna be covering uh, the Design Foundry. Yeah, so that's a a moving company where they do event setups and takedowns uh, at different types of events, which you're gonna see later on in the video. Right now, I'm walking because it wasn't no uh, parking around where it was at, so gotta walk all the way back to the hotel. I think it's the Meridian uh, Hotel. I'll show y'all what that looked like on the outside and the inside and everything. I'm going to do a before and after of the event. I'm going to show you a couple of different uh, times I've worked with them. Uh, they pretty good. they they very nice people. This is one of those jobs where it's pretty much you doing physical work. They got dollies. They got things that make it a lot easier for you to, you know, move things. But at the same time, it is physical work. So you will be moving things, you will be setting things up, picking things up. That's why they ask you if you'd be able to lift like 75 pounds just to be safe. Even though it won't probably anything be that heavy, but they ask you just in case, just to make sure you fit enough to work that, uh, that type of job. So when we get there, I'm gonna show you everything. And uh, I'll see y'all when we get there. All right, y'all, so, since the car was so far for the parking, I'm on the bike right now, trying to get back to my location. And uh, <laughs> it's pretty fun. I ain't been on the bike in a minute, so it's pretty cool. Dodging people, dodging cars, you know, regular bike stuff. <laughs> I'll catch y'all when we get there. All right, y'all, we just got up to the hotel. All right, y'all, I gotta try not to be too loud in here. Uh, everything y'all can see behind me, pretty much, they already started setting it up, for real. Uh, Cause you know, different companies come at a certain time, so I'm about to go talk to the manager over there, he on the phone, uh, see what I gotta do for my job. And I'll let y'all know when I get my instructions. All right, so we already took most of this out already, which is why you see the empty space. Uh, it was pretty much sandbags and boxes for real. Um, the rest of it is pretty much we got up in the back. We are uh, setting up basically like a little castle little thing. Y'all gonna see it when, uh, when we get finished with it. All right guys, we just got done moving all of this out of the truck. Don't look like much, but all that is heavy. Um, I just got notified we moving to a second ballroom as well. So we're doing two ballrooms. The first one was pretty much already done by the first shift. This one, it's gonna be the second one. Don't look like much, but I'm telling you, the turnout gonna be sweet. Um, right here, you can see the stage. Don't look like a big stage, but love to turn things into something else, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna show you. Oh, there it is, right here. See these right here? We want to make like castles. And castles. <sighs> I don't even know where they want to put them, but I'm pretty sure the turnout will be sweet. Anyway, I'll catch y'all after we, uh, you know, finish setting up. <sighs> All right, guys. Sorry to disappoint. Um, just, you know what I'm saying, got home. They wouldn't let me record the last little bits of the actual event setup, the finished product, because these special guests were here and they didn't want me recording and getting them in the video and they didn't feel like stepping aside for me to get a little five second clip for y'all to see. So instead, um, I remember what it looks like. I'm gonna have my um, girlfriend draw up something similar to what it looks like so y'all can see kind of the general concept of, of what we did you know like I promised I said I was going to show y'all some videos of me doing other event setups and take and takedowns with them um, I'm not going to put the takedowns in this video um, but I will show y'all the before and the after how the space looked before we set up anything and how it looked after we finished setting up everything. So that'll definitely be right after this.
All right. I hope y'all guys liked, liked, liked those videos. Okay, now that we're back, I'll give you a review over Design Foundry. Um, I have nothing but pros for them. There's no cons. No cons at all. Um, if I had to start with a con and it had to be at least one, I'd say that you'll be waiting around for a little bit because there are times when we do get work done a little too fast and so we got to take a break and sit down. But if you don't mind just chilling, you know, on the job, sitting down, just relaxing, that's not a con. But some people are not that patient. So it's a 50 50. Now, my thing about the design foundry is it's so quick. Everybody works as a team, the associates. They're so cool. You can talk around them without having to, you know, button up your, your voice, you know what I mean? So it's a really good job. Uh, it's very easy. They tell you exactly what you need to do. Um, they don't get mad at you if you don't know how to do something. They just teach you. It's not ever any back and forth or any you need to leave because you don't know how to do something. They just teach you right then and there. And from there, you move forward. Um, they do have positions open for different um, spots. So, for example, they have trucking open. So we use these trucks um, from Ryder to get all of our equipment to the site. Now, those trucks uh, obviously have drivers. And the way they get the drivers is they get people to get their DOT physical and they'll train you how to drive trucks. So from working in Design Foundry, set up and takes downs, you can actually talk to the manager and he can get you set up with learning how to drive those 26 foot box trucks, in which case you do not need a CDL license. But I'll cover all of that in another video. Um, so it's pretty much really laid back and chill you can listen to music if you want, have on AirPods, just like me, or, you know, whatever type of headphones you want, just work in your space. If you don't feel like talking, you don't have to. If you want to, you can. Uh, it's really nice. The um, parking, there's always parking available. Um, and mind you, it's always different locations, so each location obviously varies, but majority of the time, there is parking available for us workers, you know. And then they do sometimes let off early, which is another bonus. Because um, I know you people love to go home and still get the, the full payment, you know. So that's pretty good. Um, so overall, if I had to give it a rating, I'd definitely say this was a 10 out of 10. Um, I'm looking forward to working with them a little bit more in the future. And that's all I got to say for now, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe on the video. Um, give it a thumbs up and always remember guys keep up success up